Hello everybody, welcome to another video. It is your boy Reality Spin. I am here with the Chrono Sage. Chrono Sage present. I uh, hope you guys are all ready for this video. Um, this is a very important video. Uh, we are joined here today in holy Genshin matrimony <laughs> to see what the fuck is going on with Wanderer. Oh boy. We're going to be taking a look at his gameplay and his kit. Um, obviously spoilers for anybody who's watching this video. But I, if you're watching this video, you know what the fuck you're getting into. So then, then we'll, 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 we'll skip all the disclaimers for now. But Welcome, uh, welcome to Varanara. Yeah, exactly. Where we dream. <laughs> welcome to the dream world. But we're going to take a look at the uh, animations kit. Back to the animations, see what this character has to offer. This is going to be a very important video for myself and uh, Sage because I am so on the fence with this character, it's not even funny. So Yeah, dude. The fact that his entire element is just not what they advertise since 1.2. Yeah, since he got shown, is like, what? what are we doing? But... Let's go ahead and jump right into the video and see what he has to offer. Should be interesting. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, he's actually flying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he has a... Oh, did you see oh, that? He has a meter. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you see that animation? Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna fucking step on you, bitch. He hit him with the with the fucking King Vegeta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is his hat, dude? Wait a second. It it goes off when he does his E. You see? Wow. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yo! <laughs> He's flying. You could definitely take fall damage there. All right. All right oh right. hell yeah. You could definitely take fall damage. That's why they floated for a second there. Okay, all right, all right. It was cool. It was cool. Let's uh, let me swap over for you. Let's take a look at what his kid has. Um, I think it's this one. Is that is that the right one? Yes. Does it say Wanderer for you? Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, Wanderer. Uh, scales off crit damage. Damn! Look at his base health. Damn! Jesus. Uh, let's see. And so it begins. The Rukashava mushrooms are back. Well, there's plenty of time this time around. Yeah, it definitely is. And hand guards? What? What? Because he's from Inazuma. Ah, you fuckers. Um, hand so guards, Praxis. Uh, okay. Interesting. Why is he going to be practicing if he's from Inazuma? I don't get it. Anyways. I mean, he needs Rukashava mushrooms. So, you know? Oh my god. They, they they tried to do something cool. They were like, oh, let's make it from Sumeru and Inazuma. Both of the regions he shows up in. Perpetual Caliber. What? Wait, where did you see Perpetual Caliber? Is, oh, is the... Is that the, uh, the Nilu boss? Is it? Or the Desert boss? The Candice boss? That might be the Candice boss. Because I, I, the, it, it makes sense for it to be the Candace boss, right? I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right. Let's check out his uh, normals. Um, performs up to three attacks using wind blades, dealing animal damage. Consume a certain amount of stamina. Gather up a build of high wind pressure, and deals AOE animal damage. Cool. Uh, multipliers here. We don't really care about that because we don't know if that's going to be good or not. Fifty stamina cost is pretty high, I think. Let me compare it to another, uh, I think that's also Nahida's uh, charge attack. Which Much is like a uh, Yai because you know the five star catalyst. What was it? Fifty. Yeah, that's Yai's as well. Yeah, so standard for a catalyst then. Yeah. All right. Um. Yep. Okay. Now the E. The good stuff. Uh, Hanega Fushikaka. Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> so you're 12. Yeah. Move on. Uh, so uh, con- concentrates the power of the winds to break free from the shackles of the earth. Good lord. Dealing a- AOE animal damage before leaping into the air and entering the I can fly state. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the wonder enters a persistent hovering state with increased normal and charge attack AOE and damage. Charge attacks no longer consume stamina. Oh. While this state is active, the Wanderer's movement gains the following properties. While sprinting, adding Sky Dweller... Oh, wait. Persistently consumes uh, Sky Dweller points to maintain this... That's the bar we saw there. Mm -hmm. So when sprinting, additional will be consumed for the Wanderer to sprint midair. Holding down sprint will cause persistent uh, point consumption to maintain speed. Jumping expends extra points to increase hovering height. Holding jump will... Okay, cool. So, the jumping brings you higher. Yeah. Uh, Running out of it will end the wind favorite state. A second cast during the duration will also end it. Okay, got it. So, let's see. Skill damage, 95. Normal attack damage bonus. So, it counts as normal attack. Wow. Oh. That's very interesting for weapon usage. Uh, charge attack damage bonus. Oh, yeah. And artifact. Yeah, exactly. So Shimanawa? Shimanawa, maybe. Um, charge attack damage bonus. Okay, so that essentially buffs your normals. That's good to know. Um, Alright, let's see what the ult does. Kyogan Shikiraku Gobandate. Uh, Looks like a nuke. It does look like a nuke that he steps on you with. Compresses the atmosphere into a singular vacuum that grinds all troubles away. Dealing multiple instances of AoE, animo damage. If a character is in the wind favored state due to the skill, yes, will end after casting. Okay, so if you're in your E and you do your alt, it ends your state after you cast it. Yeah. Um, skill damage, 147. What's Those multipliers look real crazy. How many? It depends on how many times it hits. Yeah. Because it says multiple instances. It does. So let's see. Level A, 230. The energy costs 60. What the fuck? 15 second cooldown. Uh, the, du- the duration isn't on here, which is kind of important. Um, interesting. I'm interesting. like a kooky alt. Yeah, right? Almost. It's just, you know, way better. Uh, all right. Let's see what we have for the... We'll take a look at the constellations later. Passives. Um, if Hanega comes in contact with pirate with elements besides Dendro and Geo, boo. This instant will obtain buffs according. Ooh, okay. So Hydro increases your point cap by twenty. Pyro. Longer. Yeah, Pyro increases your attack by thirty percent. So everybody's gonna I do can Pyro. Hit harder. Yep. Oh wait. Cryo crit rate increases by 20. Electro. When normal and charge attacks hit opponents, 0.6 energy will be restored. Energy can be restored in this manner every 0.2 seconds. Okay. Look at the bottom line. You can have two different kinds of these buffs simultaneously. Ooh. That is interesting. And then second passive. When the Wanderer... How? What do you mean? Oh, you just have to swirl different elements. You just have to come in contact with them, yeah. Got you. So, and then the second passive. When the Wanderer hits opponents with normal and charge attacks in his... I think that's his E state. uh, He has a 16% chance to obtain the Descent effect. The next time the Wanderer sprints while in this instant of the Wind Favorite state, this effect will be removed. The Sprint instance will not consume any Sky Dweller points. And he will fire off... Four wind arrows that deal 35% of his attack as animo damage each. For each normal attack that does not produce... Is this an RNG? The next attack of those kinds will have a 12% increased chance of producing it. Wow. That's totally a fucking RNG thing. Okay. Interesting. And Mora expended when ascending bows and catalysts is decreased by 50%. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, man, do I need more information on this character? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sold yet. Um, I'm not sold yet. 
I need to see more about. I need to see this state in action. Because yeah. it's all fine and dandy flying around and doing cool shit. But, like, if the cool shit is very ineffective, I don't want to be doing any of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say, he looks incredibly cool when he's in the fucking wind and you're just tossing wind blades at motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's dope. I do also want to see this. This alt has the potential to be insane depending on how many times it hits. Yeah, it does. So, that should be interesting. Um... Yeah, I just want to see... I, I need to see him in action more. Like, that's... That's it. He looks cool. I, I, I do love how he looks. Mm-hmm. I very much like it. Wait, I can't see. Oh, whoops. My bad. I have to switch you back over. Uh, boop. Yeah, so, I have so. to see him in action. Yeah, like, he looks... So, I love the design. I love the redesign, obviously. My favorite color is blue, so... They don't do any charge attacks like, here either. Uh, I feel like the animations are basic. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I mean, but they're like, he's just doing wind blades though. How do you make the wind blades look cool? You got no, me? Just, oh, he's throwing them. He's just. Uh, 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 I guess. Uh, uh, That's a good point. Oh, maybe I'm being too critical. I think you might be being a little critical. Uh, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah, I do like. I, I like the state, and I like how this character looks. Uh, go away, Farzan. Um, I think the character looks really cool. I I want to see him with like a team. I think seeing like, him with a team and like doing all the infusions and all that shit is gonna look amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, what is? I did hear we're getting two new artifact sets too. Yeah. So. So. Okay. So another thing. What is flying that high? Good for do? yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Hold on. Let me connect my phone real quick. I'll tell you what. He's gonna be the best uh, exploration character in the game. Oh, for sure. The best. Anyone who wants to explore, eat your heart out, because this character is amazing for exploring. Yep. You won't need catching anymore. You won't need fucking Kazuha anymore. He does everything they do but better. Yep. That lasted a pretty long amount of time. Hold up. We can see the all here. See, that looked like... Ah, that animation looked like it did like at least what four or five hits, something like that. What are you playing again? That yeah. looked like rapid fire hits. Yeah, maybe four. You're right. So I don't know. It'll be. It's we, we gotta see. We gotta see. I need to see him with with like a team and like fighting enemies and shit. Um. Obviously, you're gonna want to do like him with Faruzan. Ah, uh, probably Jean. But- for the Animo Shred, because you know you have Jean. So, and Bennett. Yeah, and Bennett. So, it it's, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I know Faruzan's going to be, she's going to be a niche character, but she'll still be good for, like, at least two characters that yeah, we know of. For, for Zhao and Scaramouche. For Zhao sure. and Scaramouche. So, it'll be interesting to see. I, I definitely need to see more of the character, though. I need to see more of him, and I need to see him in a team comp before I make any verdicts. I thought the animations alone would be enough to sway me. I am not completely swayed. Yeah. But maybe seeing him in a team comp will definitely uh, sway me more. Because Lord knows I don't need another Ayato on my hands. No, for real. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, uh, I think that's a good place to end off the video. Uh, let us know what you guys think about him and his uh, kit. Uh, are you guys swayed by this? Are you guys going to be pulling for him? You're not sure yet? Waiting for more information? Let us know in the comments. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe check out the other videos that we have on the channel and we will catch you all in the next one take care everyone